fought for five days and then was a prisoner for five years, but he escaped um, at least three times that I know. On the eastern side Steve the Foster is in Germany talking about his father, Lately, Sergeant Frederick Foster, a former British soldier who spent nearly all of World War II behind barbed wire, a fact that Steve never learned about until after his father died. He never talked about it, got on with his life as a family man. But it was only through finding his letters to military intelligence and to his friends' uh, parents that I realized that he had a quite a busy and interesting war. Sergeant Foster was wounded and captured in Norway near the beginning of the war. A letter found by his son and daughter detailed one of his escapes. And he made it all the way to Lindau with his friend, um, and they nearly made it across into Switzerland. They were nearly free men, um, but they, the Gestapo picked him up at the very last moment. Steve Foster has been tracing the footsteps of his father on the back of a Triumph motorcycle for the past four years, a journey that eventually brought him and his wife Christine to a U.S. Army base in Hohenfels, Germany. They were greeted by a group of fellow riders who escorted them to the former site of Stalag 383, a place his late father knew very well. Yes, I, I can't, it's hard to put to words that my father may have stood somewhere over there. Um, amazing is the wrong word. I find it uh, very moving, actually. Yeah, very moving. I think like all of our relationships with our fathers, we probably didn't, never told them enough how much we loved them.